Hello all, welcome to session 24 of csharp.net training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate about operator's precedence in C sharp. So let's get started. When there are different types of operators in a single statement, then operation will be performed based on the priority of these different operators. So what is the priority of different operators? I'm going to explain. As you can see in this uh, mind map here, okay, the first priority goes for the circular brackets. After this, the next priority goes for this negation, that is exclamatory mark. After that, the next priority goes for these three operators, that is either multiplication, division, and the modulus operator. These have the next set of priority. After this, next priority is for the plus sign minus operators. And then the next priority is for the equal to operator, assignment operator, nothing but. Okay, let me give some examples so that you'll understand the priority of this mentioned operators here. Okay, so I'll go here and uh, create an example for you so that you can understand the operator precedence of different operators in C sharp. Okay, so I'll say int a is equal to 5, b is equal to 4, c is equal to 3, comma d is equal to 2. Okay, now I'll say console dot write line. I'll simply say a plus b. Okay, a plus b multiplied by C divided by D, okay? So like this, if I write, what will be the answer? What will be the answer? The answer is based on the priorities, okay? If you see here, guys, in this statement, there are different operators, right? In a single statement, how many operators are there? One, plus operator is there, multiplication operator is there, division operator is there. When there are different types of operators in a single statement, the operation of this particular statement will be performed based on the priority of the different operators. So which operator has the highest priority in this? You see this particular diagram here, okay? The priority over plus and minus operators, the priority is there for multiplication, division, and modulus. And also here you see multiplication has the highest priority and at same, same level division also has the same level of priority, but which operator is coming from left to right? Left side onwards, multiplication is coming. So multiplication is having the highest priority. So this operation will be performed first. What is B into C? B into C is, B is four, C is three. So it will be, let me write a comment here, first of all. So first of all, the entire statement I will represent, A is five. So five plus B into C, B is four multiplied by C, C is three here divided by two here. So which one has highest priority here? Multiplication and division has highest priority, but which, which operator is coming from left to right? From left side, multiplication is coming first. So we have to multiply this. So four, th four into three will become 12. Okay, four into three will become 12. Four three is a 12. Then next priority goes for division. 12 divided by two, it will result in six. Then five plus six will become 11. So the result will be 11 guys. You see here, when I run this code, you'll get the 11 in the output. You see 11 got printed in the output. Based on the priorities of the different operators, the operation of this statement having different operators has been performed, okay? What if uh, I do a small change in this statement where I'll put circular brackets around this A plus B? Then what will be the result? Will the result will be 11? The result will not be 11 now because according to the operator precedence, the highest priority goes for the circular brackets. That means, whatever that is there in the circular brackets will be operated first rather than other operators, okay? So here A plus B will be added first. So again, I'll write this statement here. Uh, A is five, B is four, okay? Multiplied by three divided by two, okay? This is what is the statement. Whatever that is there in the circular brackets will be operated first. So for five plus four, that will be nine, okay? Nine will be operated first, then, in the next uh, set of operators, which one has the highest priority? Both multiplication and division has the highest priority, but coming from left to right, multiplication is coming first. So 9, 3 is a 27. Then 27 divided by 2. Okay, how many times the 27 will be divided by 2 here? Uh, 2, 13, 13 times almost. Okay, so let's run this and see whether 13 is the output or not. You see, 13 is the output, right? So this is how the operator precedence plays a role. Okay, when a single statement has multiple operators of different types, 
then based on the priority of the operator, the operation of the statement will be performed. Okay, here we got the 13 as a result as expected. So hope guys, you understood uh, how the operator precedence will be performed in C-sharp. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another C-sharp.net topic. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.